Good morning, everybody. This is Drew. Thanks for joining me. I um, want to preview and unbox this kit that I'm going to start working on. This is the Academy 172nd scale P-38J Lightning uh, with markings for European theater aircraft. I've been wanting to do a Lightning for a while. Um, this is a kit that I bought off eBay because um, the model shop couldn't order them anymore. And I've heard a lot of good things about this kit, and it has gotten good reviews. Um, I wanted a 172nd Lightning uh, to sit next to my B-17 bomber, and also we'll be building a 172 B-24 Liberator. Um, since these were used uh, primarily, well, the Lightnings, the P-47s, and the P-51s were used to escort uh, bombers into Germany. Um, and so I want to have a little little set of uh, escort planes around my bombers, just you know, for fun. <laughs> um, these were, of course, the Lightning is a very storied aircraft. Uh, they, the German fighters, pilots called them the fork-tailed devils uh, because of their extreme speed and heavy armament, uh, and excuse me, heavy lots of machine guns up front. Uh, they also could be armed with rockets and bombs in this particular cover art this is one of the schemes you can build it's the olive drab over neutral gray scheme with uh, the invasion stripes on the box art you also have a german plane i think that's a 109 i'm not real familiar with german aircraft um, haven't built one yet but you can see uh, pretty dramatic box art there okay and on the uh side panel you got can get my there's a picture of a completed kit okay and it does say you know highly detailed cockpit and landing gear finely engraved panel lines and rivet details various weapons included okay on the side you got uh, some more pictures of a completed kit <clears throat> and quite a few pictures of a completed kit so a uh, very colorful uh, box art you can see um, at least from the pictures that it looks like a pretty nice kit so let's crack it open I did go ahead and cut open up the bags to save some time okay. and, uh, let me get you down a little bit closer and, Instruction sheet. Uh, Academy instructions are nice. They're very big. Um, you can. They're easy to see and read, and there's really they're easy to follow, and they're drawn really nice. There's no really interpretation on your your part. Okay. Uh, you got you know paint numbers here. Okay. And. This looks like it's uh, 12 steps. Okay, uh, it's very nicely drawn and again easy to follow. Okay, okay. and then you have a one page of the sprue diagrams. Okay. Okay. Here is the the markings. A couple different markings you can do in this kit. Uh, the first one is the uh, California Cutie. This is the one you saw on the box art. It's the olive drab over uh, neutral gray scheme with uh, the invasion stripes. And this one was, this particular aircraft was flown by Lieutenant Richard Lonehart, uh, 56th Fighter Squadron, 20th Fighter Group, June 1944 out of England. And I'm going to assume that was part of the 8th Air Force, and they again use these to escort bombers a lot. Okay. Um, okay, so you can see the uh, paint callouts, and there's a paint you know diagram in the instructions as well. The other scheme is the um, Arkansas Traveler. This is the natural metal scheme. This aircraft. This aircraft was flown by Lieutenant Owen Fincher, 392nd Fighter Squadron, 367th Fighter Group, uh, 1945. It doesn't say if it was based out of England or France. 
Um, I want to say this was actually based in France, and it would, uh, you know, come up and join the bomber formation. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with this scheme because I like the invasion stripes. I've never, I've never painted those before. There are no decals for that, so you just got to shoot the white, mask it off, and then shoot black over that. And uh, I'm going to give that a go and have some fun with it. Um, plus, if you can, you know, read my mind, you have uh, California Cutie. All right, you can, or the Hillbilly. <laughs> so, so the Hillbilly or the girl covered up in a bath towel. You can read my mind. Figure that out. All right. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna. I got clear parts. I'll leave those aside for a second. Um, first sprue I pulled out is. Uh, this looks like the um, starboard fuselage sections. Okay. And it's would be best here for you to see that. Get in there where you can see, but it has really, you know, the panel lines are really nice. They're um, engraved there. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this for a minute, and I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and hold up my hand so I can get in close so you can see it. So, back in just a second. Okay, that's a little bit better. So you can get in close there. You can see the, the details on the fuselage halves. Nice and gray panel lines. Or it's going to be nice to put a wash on them. I don't see any flash. That's what I like about Academy kits. I think you get a good quality kit for the money you pay. Um, I've, been, I've put several kit, Academy kits together before, and they seem to go together really nice. Um, there are some issues with the decals, but you know, you, there's ways you can work around that. Um, the I like how the uh, the wheels are in one piece. You don't have to glue them together, and and because uh, when, when you do that and you have to sand, you lose some of the tread detail. And these have some pretty decent uh, tread detail. So okay, and the wheels themselves. Okay, get a good view of that. Okay, set that aside. Grab another one. Just move these over here. Sorry about that. And this is the <clears throat> looks like port side fuselage. Again, you get uh, there's the nose piece with the gun ports. front wheel I gotta remember to make sure you put weights in the nose up front because these things will sit right on their butt uh, if you don't do that sort of tricycle schemes okay. there's one of the turbochargers again you can uh, get in there close you can see it's, again it's got nice detail it'll take a nice it'll take a wash and bring that out really nicely. Okay, again, I don't see any flash on this kit at all. I haven't even seen any pen marks yet. Okay. Put that over here. Grab another sprue. This is the <coughs> uh, wing sections. And this is the bottom piece. And again, you can see some nice uh, panel detail. Going inside the wheel wells um, some modest details but uh, again it, it'll paint up nice okay. got the the cowlings you know, the engines um, there's really no detail on those because you're not going to see them um, you do have the, you, the kit comes with uh, 
the two bombs. Okay, can, there's the bombs. There's one bomb over here. We got the fins, and the other bomb is over here. And here's the top half of the wing section. Okay. And you got uh, turbochargers go. Okay. Okay. So so far looking good. Side there. More, get this screw. This has a lot of little bitty pieces. <clears throat> okay, this has your cockpit details. Um, you have the propeller blades. Uh, these are I've never built a plane with the separate blades. Um, hopefully they'll go in okay. Uh, we'll see to get them to line up correctly. <laughs> that might be a challenge. Um, here's a section of the cockpit. You got the battery compartments the battery cases I guess and mount that there um, there's the instrument panel lost it okay, instrument panel looks decent um, it does have a decal but I'll have to see how it looks. I, I, don't, I might just do some uh, paint this and dry brush it and pick out some dials with different colors. I am, instrument decal, instrument panel decals sometimes look a little, well, fake. <laughs> okay, there's the pilot's headrest. Uh, there's his. Steering column pipe piece. Steering. Okay. These are the sides of the cockpit. Again, for a pretty nice little detail for a 172 kit. Um, those will be. That's going to be fun to paint. Uh, you, also, you can also. <clears throat> Build it with rocket tubes. Okay. The <clears throat> the rear stabilizer, okay. the fin, and the uh, vertical stabilizers. Landing gear Those look pretty good. Plastic is very crisp. You really can't uh, you can't fault that. You can't fault them for having a bunch of action stuff. Um, inside the the uh, gear doors, you do have some little details in there. Um, they're just round. It looks like ovals. Um, that's going to look nice once you it'll give it some definition and uh, again put a wash on those. Pilot seat. Okay. Yeah, looks like inside the. Well, these are. Oh, wells. Okay. Machine guns and all that sort. Uh, clear parts I'm going to leave in the bag just to keep them protected. Um, they look okay. Uh, it's going to be fun to mask. <laughs> you have little lights. Um, paint those with some clear colors and stick them on. Looks like you've got a couple, maybe a couple different options. And here's the decals. Um, I've had, you know, Academy decals, they get a bad rap. Um, they're not all that great. Um, 
I've had some success with them. I, you know, they just need a lot of solvent and uh, uh, just gotta, you know, really work them. Um, these look, these don't look too thick. There are a lot of stencils, but at 172 scale, you, you know, you can't read them. And uh, uh, so oftentimes I don't put a lot of the stencils on on a 172 scale model uh, because it's just too darn small. And when you put them on, sometimes they look like a, just a little piece of paint, a blob of paint. Um, but some of the bigger ones you can put on, they look okay because they're, uh, you know, bigger and everything. Um, here's the goes around the fuel gas tanks uh, the roundels the wing markings and of course your main depending on what scheme you go with you have the Arkansas Traveler these actually look pretty good uh, the or the California Cutie okay they actually look pretty decent um, and so hopefully I won't have any issues with those all right, so that is the kit, and so that'll be a really fun build. I'm looking forward to getting started with it, um, and uh, I'll be hopefully posting some updates for you. And again, thanks for watching, and uh, happy modeling. Take care.